long. We're talking of finding your feet. There's a, a loss there by Durdov. And the opportunity here for Denmark to strike for goal. That's a decent save from Hauer's effort. Hauer it was, and it was bound for the net till the intervention of the Dinamo keeper. That's a good, strong fist away. She's not quite hitting the right notes just yet. Obi. Very good with the ball at his feet. Protecting possession for his teammates and now looking to get into the box. Here is Obi. Quick change of feet and fired the shot away. And once again, it required the save from Rajic. But surely the most dangerous. One goal already in the tournament. Not so far away from a second. Trade for Croatia in this tournament. Oh, that's a costly slip potentially. It's going to come for Durdov. Still the opportunity here for Croatia. All came from uh, a lapse at the back by Denmark. Problems of their own making. Vuvodic. That's their best opportunity so far. Not too very far away. From opening his account at the tournament proper. Obi with the layoff. And in possession again. Does well to find Anderson. Stretching his legs into the uh, Croatian half. Rijne, left hand side. Looking for the pull back to the edge of the penalty area. That's a decent effort and it took a nick off the defender. From... Oh, it would have been a free header inside the six yard box. A mistimed jump. Opportunity gone begging there. Start again with Molem. Molem's gone for the return. Trying to trick his way past the defender just to create a bit of space for the cross. Molen once more. This is nice. Opening up for the shot and there is the first goal. 35 minutes played and it's Denmark who make the breakthrough. Well, he's only just come into the side, Lasse Abilgard. Took it superbly. You can see there he just got half a yard of space and that was enough to send a low left-footed shot inside the keeper's near post. And it is Denmark looking for that victory to take them into the last eight who strike first. Ajax's Lasse Albega. That's nice. And this is Mikic. Oh, his first touch was a poor one. May yet get another opportunity though, Mikic. And that's a decent pullback. And that's an equaliser. And out of nothing, Croatia are back level through Patrice Kovic. Well, it's the Hertha Berlin man who gets the credit for the goal. But it's Noah Mikic that looked to initially have lost the ball, but kept going and found his man in space and from the penalty spot that is an assured finish from uh, Kovic opens his account for the tournament and likewise gets Croatia off the mark in terms of the goal scored column opportunity now for the attack to gather a bit of pace it's a driving run from midfield and a superb finish. And would you believe it, with a goal either side of Croatia, uh, either side of half time, Croatia have turned this game on its head. And Noah Mikic, who was the provider of that first goal, is picked up the ball in his own half, drove past two defenders. They backed off, took the invitation to shoot, and fired it off the inside of the post into the back of the net. Poor old Tobias Brum Harald. Used looks soft as a decoy. Comes through to Hauer. To check back inside. And the first time strike beaten away by the goalkeeper. And Antonio Rajic is saves he's made. And that was heading for the top corner too. Beautifully struck by uh, Fregel Kier Anderson. Looking for the in-swinger this time. 
that's a very good header away under pressure but they haven't cleared the ball and Denmark fired narrowly wide Roberto Rigne the uh, Copenhagen man it was a crowded goal mouth so a snapshot on that occasion Mikic back to his goalkeeper oh, that's a sliced clearance though seized upon by Chidozi OB and there's an opportunity now for Rigne and he's put it wide the endeavour from Obi, the opportunity fell. It's a rather loopy one to the far post, but the keeper lost the flight of the ball, and that has proved very costly indeed, as Roberto Rigne is on hand to profit and prod the ball into an empty net, and Denmark now have an equaliser, and it's 2-2 with uh, too much relish, lost the flight of the ball, and in the end it's just popped in off the chest, I think, of Rigne. But he was so close to the goal line that any touch would do. And for Gustafsson has made his way forward, the recently introduced substitute. This is Chidozi OB to stretch those long rangey legs of his. Kutuk did well there from on the ground and the opportunity here. Almost out of nothing. I don't think Denmark had really organised themselves after. Rishne did well there. Strong play from the uh, Dane. And an acceleration of pace into the penalty area has brought a corner. Haider goes short. A good save by the goalkeeper. Not for the first time this afternoon. Rajic at full. Anka Mafio, who got his head to the ball, was it looping in? The goalkeeper made absolutely certain. I think it would have never the uh, defensive giants up here for Denmark. There's plenty of loop on that ball, and it's uh, Anka Mafio who won the header again and wins the corner as well. It's Sort of loopy lofted ball in this second period. They go short this time. Molem, flick on header and very nearly in. By uh, Anka Mafio again. Coming up in Paris a little bit later this summer. Not so welcome on the football field. Right, final knockings here. Group B. And indeed, there goes the whistle. And it is a draw between Croatia and Denmark. At half-time, it looked like the Danish might be...